Often we need to be able to view photos or pictures that are on our desktop computers. And with the change to Windows 10, it has made it a little more difficult. Before, we would have probably opened with the Windows Photo Viewer. It allowed you to view it, possibly print from there. Microsoft is no longer supporting the Windows Photo Viewer, so you may want to consider using the newer tool, which is Microsoft Photos. I have it installed on my computer, and I will show you how to get it installed on your computer, and then a few features of it. You're going to want to navigate to the Microsoft Store, and you can find that in your Start window. Once you're in the Microsoft Store, I went to Search, and I searched for Microsoft Photos, and this is what it will appear like. You can see I have mine installed. You will want to install it. You do not need to use a Microsoft account. So you can say no thanks when it asks you that. Once you have the app installed, you may not see some pictures in there. You're probably going to need to import pictures. And one of the features that I liked, you can import um, pictures from your computer, which is this is where the selection you would do. Or you can even import pictures from like a USB device. That means you need the cord or the cable. From my iPhone, I was able to uh, download these pictures and import them over. Uh, so it's very easy. I just plugged the USB into my phone and then into the computer and then easily got the pictures over here. Um, once you have the pictures, like I'll just select this picture here. I'm going to open it up. There are some edit and creating choices, which a lot more than what we used to have. You can edit basically cropping, adding filters, doing more effects. You can draw on the picture. You can even create a short video with music, add 3D effects. And then if you want to install Paint 3D, you can edit with that additional app, but that would be separate. Um, looking at the printing features, if that is someone you need to be able to print, the printing features will show up over here. You can do some changes, like if you want to print a smaller version of it, you can do that. There is also some more settings down there, and you can take a look at that on your own. So I suggest that you take a look at Microsoft Photos for yourself. See if this is possibly a good photo viewing tool for you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me, and have a great day.